visas and we are gonna enjoy them we need energy pronto hello i am back and today guys we are joined with an old familiar face and when i say an old face i mean very old here it is it's thomas i am <laughs> right guys so here we are we're currently making our way down this gorge to a mine and there's the old minecart tracks and as you can see here we've got a long way to go i was here once before and i had a fail explore here because i was on my own and i just simply wasn't brave enough to go inside but i've got my good friend thomas here so today we're hopefully going to get in and show you that mine so let's get straight on with that i'll see you down the bottom yeah now guys some of you might remember this bridge because i showed it in one of my fail videos in the river running by or under should I say and the main entrance is just up there beyond Thomas so we'll soon find out if we're going in here's what we are faced with and the entrance is well sealed up as you can see Here's the mine in there, start it. It's a real pity we can't get in for a week because it's uh, still quite a lot in there to see. But we are beaten. Perhaps we might have another option. We need to go and check it out. There's a third entrance up there and it has a ladder across the fence so let's go and check that out I don't know let's have to have a look and see Christ look at that rock face that's scary in itself so the ladder goes up in there into that mine. Right. Don't even get a good signal. <laughs> There's nothing here. Somebody's fitball in there. Mm. Ah, right, definite bust here, so we're gonna go to the next location. That's quite a spectacular view. Yeah. I wonder how we get up. Well, you just keep. Have to go up that field, but I don't want to go through that because that would just be. No. Right, uh, for a fair share of ticks this year. That's a very nice view. There's another place we're going to visit while we're out here today as well. So, stay tuned for that. This has got a little bit more uh, intriguing history to it. And we believe it's just along this trail a bit further than the, the viaduct here. <laughs> Probably can't hear you for that distance with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the steps, yeah, I see it, yeah. Some bird trout me. It's a cow. I'm wondering why it's going. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a cow. It's like an alarm, though, listen. It is a cow, but it sounds like an alarm. Oh, it stops when I put the mic on it. Hey, it's no cow, maybe it's a bird. <laughs> Deep vocal cords if it's a bird. Yeah. Or maybe it's a bird that can talk to cows. <laughs> See, it's some size when you get up close. That is humongous. 
I might not be able to cross this one guys it depends how uh, secure and safe it's going to look like for the top oh my god these steps are giant whoever built these had big feet and legs where are you going? I'm you're dead? <laughs> This is your den. Oh, sorry, Tommy's den. Right inside one of the, the arches. Yeah, the viaduct. Hello. Oh! Ah. It's funny it's still got an echo because it's quite a narrow viaduct. Yeah. Long but narrow. I mean, from side to side, that's about what? 20 feet at the base. Mm. Yeah, about 20 feet, so it's quite, quite narrow. I'm dreading what the condition is going to be like at the top. No, it'll be bad then. Aye. I'm already getting the heebie jeebies standing next to it. It looks like it's fenced off. That's the idea out of the window. <laughs> well, maybe somebody's been before us and opened a path. Oh, something stinks. Whoa. <coughs> Martin, I'm right behind you. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Thank God I've got my face mask because whatever that is, it is stinking. That is absolutely disgusting. Up there. It's sort of like silage, but it's like raw, really, really bad. Oh my god, that's worse than the freezer challenges. Whew. What's that wire with your face? It is, look, it's a tractor spreading silage. That is rife. Well, there's no way in. It's padlocked. That just came away in my hand. The padlock. We'll take it with us so that nobody can lock us on it. That's mental. Somebody never sealed that padlock correctly. And now we're on the viaduct. I don't know how safe it is to even be walking on this. Well, if it breaks away, you know. Well, I mean, we're already up a fair height even at this point. Right. There you are guys. Had it not been for that padlock coming away so easy, you wouldn't be getting this view. I'm not going to go down where the rails were, but this walkway seems pretty secure. Oh my god, that's some height. Oh, that's some height. I am nervous. Oh my god. How the heck did people build? these structures back in the day 
he must have had some head for heights. I'm not sure what we're going to fill at Thomas to be honest. Can we go a little bit further? When you go. <laughs> Look at the view though guys. That is epic. I know, it's quite, quite nerve wracking eh? God, every sound I hear is making me nervous. Oh, I feel, oh. Denny, Thomas. I'm feeling really heebie jeebie at the moment. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> right, oh, I feel it drop my camera and everything here. Guys, I cannot tell you how hair raising this field <laughs> me and all I'm going to go a wee bit further what, over the cracks? aye shouldn't do this this is a uh, not safe looking oh oh my god when you see that drop at the side of your eyes oh Ooh. there's the farmer spreading his muck still Right, I've saw enough. Are you happy with that? We <laughs> yeah, we got on it. At least we can see that. Right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed your look. Cool being on it. it is. Well, how many folk have got that chance? And they moved that padlock. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if I can find anything online, Regarding the dates and information on this viaduct, I'll post a link in the description below. You can check out a bit more there if I indeed do find anything. You can see the old uh, chisel markings on the on the stonework from the original masons that etched the stone into shape. It's rather cool. I wonder how many trains have crossed this in its lifetime. As soon as we can navigate this bog-like marsh path and follow this river, we shall come to structure and I will show you that when we arrive. If it's your first time here, why not give the channel a subscribe and smack that wee bell to get notified every time I have a new upload. We're getting closer, slowly but surely, but let me tell you, this is one extremely long foot hike, but hopefully we'll be there within the next half hour. We're already about an hour and a half in, and it's getting late, hopefully we'll get some light by the time we get there. Right, see you soon. Better be lined with gold after this trek. Yep. There is the ruins of a extremely old farmhouse. Crazy to think somebody lived there at one point. It must have been nice with the sound of the river flowing by. It's probably been Give a me yeah, your Thomas, for God's <laughs> sake! <clears throat> that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you never turn your back on Tommy. He seizes the moment. <laughs> but uh, hey, I was saying, I, it's probably been a couple of hundred years since somebody lives in that house. Oh, right, it's nice. 
Nice wee area. Well guys, finally, at long last, after mile upon mile, we are in this location. And I'll show you now what we're here to see. And I've gave up using my camera, so we're on the phone, and so I apologise for any wind interference. I believe this is it. This is William Wallace's cavern. And there he's there, still hiding for the English. Remarkably, he looks very like Tommy. <laughs> but look at that, it's cool. The way it just cuts open into here. And this is where William Wallace hid. Because the English, oh my god, that's quite uh, menacing. If that was to go, the new had be like a bug squashed on a windscreen. Oh. Very narrow. Very, very spongy. So, I've been wanting to see this place for years and never made the journey. That was my dad that first told me about it when I was a child. And I've got him to thank for my interest in all things history. Because he exposed us to a lot of history and youth. Tommy! Yeah? You can, you can stop now, we've reached it. Just try to get to the Scottish borders. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, these things keep landing on my head. You know, what kind of bug they are? Strange wee things. But you can see why Wallace would have hid here, because we had the cover of the rock and he had the use of the, the water for the river. Oh, yeah. And probably an abundance of fish back in, the, back in the day. So he wouldn't have been stuck for a meal. I don't know how long, I can't remember how long he hid here. But I believe it could be into the years. But it's funny to think that that man who I've followed closely over the years of my vlogs was actually here living in the wild. What's that there? Ar McCulloch. Is it McCulloch? Aye, yeah, yeah. Ar McCulloch, 1974. Tony, 2012. Claire, 218. Can't even make that one out. Uh, 219. Kira, I think. Kira, 219. And what's that in? What name? What's the name is that? Uh, maybe Poid. Poid? K Poid? Pride. K Pride. Yeah. I don't know if that's an R. 2013. Burns it. Oh, and there's one there that's really faded that says Lully Wallace. <laughs> 1200 and <laughs> some. Aye. Can't make the rest, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must have been bored waiting there, do you? <clears throat> it's funny that people have been inscribing their names and that. Yeah. Probably had a good walk from the sun that just gets some shade. Aye. There's another in there. Can I make that out? Uh, can I make that? That's initials. No idea. Something big hard there. People have been inscribing their names on that tree and it's fallen in. Uh huh. They're there. Oh, aye. The big tree. <laughs> People have got their names on it. Tommy's seen people have been got their names on that tree that's fell there. 
I'm just... Oh, aye. Look at the inscriptions on the tree there. See, if you want to mortalise, you need to do it in the stain. No, in the trees. Oh, check this one out, Tommy. Farquhar. What does it say? Farquhar. Oh. At first I thought it was Farquhar and that's a CF's clan. Clan Farquhar. He's done a good job of that. Ah, it's quite, quite cool, that, isn't it? Come on, I want to see WW. Somebody must have done it. Naomi. J. Smith. That's a W. W. C. Meg. Sam. Robert the Bruce. <laughs> Well, it was very, very long trek, but I ain't disappointed in the find. I think it's well worth coming to see it just for the, the historic connection. Well guys, we have got a very long walk back, but I hope you enjoyed seeing this one. Till next time, this is Pajerico and Tommy signing off.